live in a world that is marred by sin, which means that our bodies eventually wear out and we will face death. Death will come to all of us, but prior to death, we experience weakness in our physical bodies, the decay that is con continually working in us, whether cancer or a cold, diabetes or a bone break. We all face some sort of sickness in our physical bodies. The Bible says that when we are sick, we can come boldly to the throne of God, asking for grace and mercy in our time of need. Though our bodies can't feel well, God still rules over our circumstances, and Jesus still has the power and authority to heal us not to mention his willingness and ability to do so. We can approach Jesus with faith and expectancy, believing that he still heals the sick, sets us free, and ex exercises dominion over our physical body. We will all eventually die, but that doesn't mean that Jesus isn't interesting in healing our body today. We confidently call out to him to bring us healing into our lives. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Bless the Lord, O my soul, that is in all that is with me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, and who heals all your diseases. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak, because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, he will be healed. The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have your, you come under my roof. But just say the word and my servant will be healed. Then Jesus said to the centurion, centurion, Go, let it be done just as you believed it would. And his servant was healed at that moment. Jesus, I thank you that you have both the power and authority to heal my body. <clears throat> I boldly come to you today to ask for your grace and healing power to be at work in my body. I trust that you are powerful and looking for an opportunity to show that your power in my body, to show your power in my body. Cause the sickness to leave my body in Jesus' name. I break the power of stress and trauma and release your and release your peace and release your peace i speak to every part of my body to be whole function properly the way you designed me to function i command all pain to go and full mobility to be restored i command all muscles tendons and ligaments to go to the place you designed them to be be whole and strengthened Inflammation and swelling be healed. All chemicals and hormones in my body be in balance. Jesus, send your word and heal me today. You paid the price for my healing, so I trust that you are at work in, my, in me. Holy Spirit, fill every part of me with your supernatural presence. Drive out all that is not good, holy and true. I receive the healing you have for me today. Father, thank you, Lord God. We lift up our little friend Landon tonight, Lord. We thank you that you're healing him. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord, that you are faithful and true. You watch over your words to perform all of it, God. And we give you praise, glory, and honor because we know that you are trustworthy. You are not a man that you should lie. You are worthy and you are trustworthy. And we can put our hope and trust in you and you alone. You are a good, good God. You are our healer. Father, we lift up all that are brokenhearted from the loss of their loved ones through sickness this week, Lord. We lift up Brother Rob, Father, and his family. Father, we ask that you would hold and heal their hearts, God. All that are broken right now, Lord God. Broken in body, broken in their emotions, broken in their hearts, God broken families. 
mental illness, psychological illness, God. Every types of illnesses, Lord, physical, spiritual. Father, we lift them all up to you, Lord God. We ask that you would mend all brokenhearted. And we ask, Lord, that you would restore every single one of us, Lord, that needs restoration, God. We ask for peace. We speak peace. We speak comfort, we decree comfort, wholeness, restoration, Lord, strength, mobility, healing in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for the shed blood of Jesus that was purchased for our healing, God, that purchased our healing and salvation, God. We thank you for the blood of Jesus shed on Calvary for us. Father, please send your Holy Spirit, Lord, to each of our friends' hearts and home to comfort them. Send your holy angels, Lord, to minister to them, God. Release your peace, Holy Spirit. Release your peace. Release your love. Release hope. Release faith. Release your strength, God. Breathe your strength. Breathe your breath of life into our friends that are sick, that are broken, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, as this as the children go back to school tomorrow, Father, we ask that you would go before them. We ask that you would send your guardian angels before them to guard them, guide them, protect them, Lord God. Keep them from stumbling, Lord God. We ask for favor. We ask for your presence, your power, your wisdom upon them, God. Each and every single one of the children that are going back to school, Father, especially the children of your servants, God. I ask that you would surround them, Lord with your guardian angels. I ask for godly friends, Father. I ask that you would bring them godly friends, Lord, and keep the um, the ones sent by the evil ones to lead them astray away from them, Father. I plead the blood of Jesus over our children, our sons and daughters. I ask for favor, Lord, upon them with their their friends, their, their um, teachers, their counselors, the principals, the volunteers, and other students. I ask for favor. I ask for knowledge, wisdom, understanding to help them study and learn. I ask that every plot and plans of the enemy against our children in the school system to be annihilated, disintegrated, destroyed in the name of Jesus. I ask you to expose every evil, wicked plans of the evil one against our children. Expose it, uproot it, destroy it in the, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Call us parents, moms, dads, grandparents, Lord, to be fervent with praying over our children, over our teachers, over our nation, our leaders. Father, wake up your church, Lord. Wake us up, wake us up from our complacency, from our laziness. Forgive us, God, for worshiping the gods of our bellies. Forgive us, God, for all the idols in our, our hearts, God. Uproot all the idols, God. Send down your Holy Ghost fire and burn off all the idols in our hearts, our lives. Forgive us, God. Wash us, clean us, God. Cleanse us, Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Please give us dreams from you, Lord. Reveal your glorious love and self and majesty to us. Reveal the mysteries of the kingdom and of darkness to us, God. Give us strategies to overcome the weapons and warfares of the enemies against us, the children of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you for our identity in Christ, our authority in Christ, our inheritance in Christ, our power in Christ our position in Christ as heirs of God, co-heirs of Christ, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you died for us so that we could live an abundant and victorious life in you. Thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit. For without your Holy Spirit, there is no hope for humanity. There's no hope without your Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit is the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, that lives in all repentant, born-again Believers, thank you, Lord, for the gift of your Holy Spirit. For those that are not born again, Father, please give them, Lord God, give us, Lord, the spirit of conviction. 
conviction and conversion, Lord. Convert our heart and our souls. Save us, God. Save us. Save our family, our friends, our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, have mercy, Lord, on America. Have mercy, Lord, on America. Father, wake up warriors, righteous leaders, politicians. Wake them up. Raise them up, Lord God. Give them holy boldness and courage to arise and to fight and take back this nation, Father. Father, please continue to um, expose wicked leaders. Bring them to repentance, Lord. Give them the gift of repentance or uproot them, Lord God, from the face of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the bloodthirsty be uprooted from the face of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. I love you so much. I love you too. Here. Floss and brush. Thank you so much.